Hey there, my name's Al. Today, I'm comparing the snake hook brush and ZBrush to the snake hook brush inside of Blender. Before we get there, if you love all things 3D, be sure to subscribe. So we're inside a ZBrush using the snake hook, and we're just gonna pull out kind of this tentacle and then head back up. We're gonna do the same thing on the left, and then inside a blender, we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but you're gonna notice a difference when we do our side-by-side -side comparison. Pay attention to the tip. Look what we have here. So inside a ZBrush, it's interesting because when I start on the right, I pull it out, and then when I head back towards the sphere, it kind of flattens in on itself and squishes a little bit, but notice like the very tip where it's pointing. It's still pointing in the direction that I started, right? It's still kind of pointing towards the right. And that changed the shape of this tentacle. Now, if we look at the section on the right in Blender, I pulled it out and then curved it in to the sphere, just like in ZBrush, basically the same motion. But the tip of that little hook or that tentacle is like following the direction that my brush is now going. So I like that a lot. It's a very subtle difference, but I definitely felt something different. And I'm gonna say it. I prefer Blender's snake hook to ZBrushes. Boom, plain and simple. Hey, thanks for sticking around for the video. I know it was a quick one. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for other comparisons between sculpting in Blender and ZBrush, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time.